Alex Crawford reporting there from Istanbul. Well, I'm joined tonight by the Saudi human rights activist, dissident and satirist, Ghanem al Masaria. Ghanem, thank you very much for joining us tonight. You must be in shock as much as the rest of us Absolutely. are about what's happened to Jamal al Khashoggi. Not that we know, but about the mystery surrounding his disappearance. Now, you've been attacked, you claim, by Saudi agents on the streets of uh, London. Saudis have abducted people in the past, haven't they? But this is a new low. Um, do you think that uh, we're now entering a new era of Saudi repression? And do you fear the worst may have happened to Mr Khashoggi? Um, the, the, the Saudi government uh, kidnaps people from uh, uh, the past. It's not a new. I'm not surprised they kidnapped uh, Jamal or even they, will, uh, they killed him. Um, uh, if Jamal didn't get that international uh, attention with the coverage, we, just, we wouldn't know. Let's um, uh, get back to uh, the three uh, royal family members who was kidnapped from Europe, and we don't know what happened to them. So the Saudi has a long history of kidnapping people, and uh, uh, even executing people inside the kingdom based on their opinions. And in 2003, the uh, uh, UK government has expelled uh, a Saudi diplomat. He, he claimed to be a diplomat, but in reality he was an intelligence officer, bribing a police officer here in the UK in order to obtain uh, uh, a private information uh, about Saudi dissident here in the UK. So the Saudis uh, uses their consulate, their um, uh, embassies, in order to, uh, well, in, basically to commit crimes abroad. And they have no regrets uh, to the international law whatsoever. But Jamal al Khashoggi, we've had him on Worldview, he's one of our first guests. He's not an extremist or a hothead, he's a, a reasonable man who, who presents uh, reason, considered criticism of the reform, reform process in, in Saudi Arabia. He was, though, he told me, fearful about his uh, welfare inside the kingdom, and that's why he lived in exile. Do you think he was naive to go into the consulate in Istanbul? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Jamal is not the extremist. We all know he's moderate and he only speaking up. But the Saudis, especially with uh, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, they don't want to hear any voices that criticize them. They are jailing people in Saudi Arabia based on their uh, tweets or, or, uh, or uh, uh, speaking up. Even though they say they're reforming, they're opening yeah, up, they're letting women drive, they're not tolerating political absolutely. criticism. Absolutely. Uh, and that's what happened to Jamal. Uh, I think he's naive by walking uh, into that consulate. Uh, if he asked me personally, I would advise him to run away because I will never trust the Saudis and uh, they have long history of kidnapping people. And uh, as I said, if, if, if we didn't uh, get the coverages for um, Jamal, we wouldn't even know. Well, and he's certainly getting the coverage. And and President Absolutely. Trump says he wants to get to the bottom of this, even though he's very close to the, uh, the Saudi royal family. Absolutely. Britain says it wants answers, uh, and the Europeans. What can Britain do? Is Britain doing enough in this uh, affair? Uh, I hope they will do more, and they will stop the Saudis. As you know, I was attacked here in the streets of London. Well, does it make you fear for your life, what's Absolutely. happened to Jamal? Uh, absolutely. If they are uh, uh, killing him and dismembering his body, what do you think they will do to me or uh, uh, someone else who criticizes them? Will you carry on doing what you're, what you're doing? Absolutely, I will carry on doing what I, I do, but I will never trust them and walk to their embassies or uh, even visit a country they have their hands uh, uh, there. We, we, we got some reports that the Prince uh, Turkey bin Bandar, the one who was in, in France, he was lured uh, to, to Morocco and then kidnapped from there. So, don't trust the Saudis, and I will definitely continue doing what I'm doing. Ghanam al Masare, thank you very I much like for joining us on Worldview. Well, that, that's have to leave it there for now, but uh, thank you very much, and obviously we... I, hope... I would like to say to President Trump, please don't sleep with the devil. Uh, Mohammed okay. bin Salman is not a reformer, he's a dictator, and we can see his actions very clearly now with what is going on. Ghanam with... al Masare, thank you very Welcome. much, and we hope for a uh, happy outcome from the story one I way or another. So. Thank you.